Hello folks, my name is Jimmy Morris. I'm here today to show y'all one of the easiest ways I know possible to clean catfish. This is a fairly small channel catfish but plenty legal. Uh, this is the size I prefer for taste and you cook them quick and cook them whole. They're real good eating this way. Uh, one thing about it when you go out and catch a mess of catfish, something that really helps the trip and help you remember it as a pleasurable one is the final part of it which is cleaning it. Cleaning the damn fish. You catch a mess of them you need to know how to do it right correctly so you can go on and enjoy them when you eat them and, and it doesn't take you all night to stay up and clean these things. I'm going to show you the best way I know possible how to clean a catfish. First you need a good sharp knife here and if you got a mess of them you want to go on and cut all of the fish first and then set your knife down and pick up your skinning pliers and then skin all the fish just so you don't have to switch from each step. You know, switch back, switch back. It's a lot easier if you go on and say you got 10 fish, you want to cut every one of them first. What you're doing is cutting right behind. I've got them here in my hand with uh, these fins so you can hold it good. Leave the head on. Don't cut the head off first. That's an old myth. Everybody thinks cut the head off a catfish. You don't do that till you're ready to throw them in the grease. Then you cut down this side and you take your knife and you cut down the top. Okay, cut this here. Boom, be real careful in this step because you, you can see it looks dangerous and it is. And then you get your uh, pair of skinning pliers. The cheapest pair you can buy is probably your best. Believe it or not, these here were made in Taiwan. They're galvanized, they won't rust, and if you drop them in the lake, you're not going to lose a $5 pair of pliers. These things are about a dollar and a half at any tackle shop or bait shop. Take and hold the fish the same way. Try to pull evenly. Pull down one side and pull down the other. Oh, I feel this one's head about to pop off, I think, so it's got to be real easy and pull all the way down here. Try to get it in one neat thing here. And make sure you get it all the way off down the tail. A lot of, man, this meat right here is some of the best. So get all the skin off it'll keep it from tasting fishy and and again these size here is about the best size you can eat when you're cooking them whole take snap the backbone and pull the head and belly I missed a little bit of the belly then but uh, you take your finger run it through there get the lung and other stuff out of course it's just a rough wash job here you want to wash them off real good before you put them in the freezer. This size here you can get about, oh most I like to put about eight or ten in a one pound Ziploc baggie and uh, they'll fill it full of water, throw it in the freezer and I mean you're, you're ready to eat some good eating. So uh, only thing we're missing now is the grease. Grease and cornmeal. I appreciate y'all listening in. I'm gonna go catch the corn.